Hello, my name is Rebecca Evans, and this is a presentation on Gottlieb Daimler and his invention, the gasoline combustion engine. I hope you enjoy. This presentation includes Daimler's early life, invention, development process, function, and industrial revolution category, along with its impact on the industrial revolution. To begin with, Daimler was born in Schnorderorf, Germany on March 17, 1834. Later in the 1840s and into 1850, he attended a technical school in Stuttgart and became a gunsmith. But his heart didn't settle along making guns, so he switched majors and started working in a steam factory, bringing him down a successful track and later became chief engineer at Gas Engines Fabric in Deutsch. This is when he started developing his first combustion engine. Invention. Although Daimler invented many engineering motifs, his most unknown is his gasoline combustion engine. A gasoline combustion engine is an engine that is fueled by a combination of gasoline and oxygen, and is an internal combustion engine. Internal combustion engines create their fuel by using reactions of um, combustion with oxidizers and fuel. The problem with most automotives before was that you would have to use your own energy, energy to create these reactions. Daimler's invention, however, creates a constant flow of energy until you run out of fuel. His innovation into the engine makes it easier for people to drive, as you don't have to rely on cranking your engine to produce these combustion reactions. Development. When Gottlieb was first designing the four his four-stroke engine, this started out very large, in both concept and model, about four meters to be exact. His design was bulky and looked nothing like an engine, more of a cannon. Although it was large in stature, it didn't produce much energy. Daimler and his collaborator, Wilhelm Maybach, started then toying with the idea of an A-line cylinder. This is when the energy started to build. Instead of one half of an HP or horsepower, his new shape ramped the horsepower to three. The issue that was left was the connecting parts and full-scale design. What is now known as Gottlieb's grandfather clock is what we know as the first gasoline combustion engine. The main shaft that held the connecting rod and crack shaft was like a pendulum, and in comparison to everything else, the name fit quite well. As development continued, more variations of Daimler's engine popped out from other engineers. The most common type is for the four in the next slide. A line, um, V um, type engine, a post engine, and rotary or Wankel engine. Function and revolutionary category. Um, the revolutionary category is transportation. So how does this engine work? Well, gasoline combustion engines create their energy by using a combination of oxygen and gasoline, which we call air fuel mixture. Gasoline combustion engines work on a four stroke system. The first stroke is intake and compression. Intake and compression is when the air, um, when the engine injects air into the metal cylinder. Air fuel mixture is then compressed into the chamber. Two, ignition. The spark plug shoots the pin, creating a spark and igniting a fuel. Three, power. The ignited fuel makes a mini explosion and drives the piston down, which creates energy to power the vehicle. Four, exhaust. Exhaust is when the piston goes back up and pushes out the exhaust or gas and breathes in new oxygen, creating the cycle all over again, repeating all that jazz. So what was the significance of, of um, Gottlieb's invention? Well, um, gasoline fuel eliminated the use of crank engines and heavy steam power, which made cars easier to use and manufacture as other inventions like the assembly line came along. The use of air fuel mixture paved the way for new fuel types to enter the market and eventually leading us to diesel fuel and other products. Three, internal combustion is more efficient and safe compared to um, crank engines and external combustion. So vehicles have less breakdowns. And just to sum it all up, Daimler's efforts in engineering created a new path for commercialized automobile manufacturers like his very own Mercedes-Benz and later Ford Motor Company. Thank you for watching.